Hey, I'm Dr. Bob Payne, a veterinarian at SouthKendall.com. Let's talk about crick orchidism in dogs. It's, a, it's a defined as a undescended testicle or both testicles. It's usually genetic, so most veterinary people recommend not breeding these animals and neutering them. We treat this by trying to palpate the testicles and see if they're in the inguinal canal or if they're in the abdomen. If you can't palpate them in the inguinal canal or in the scrotal sac, then we have to go and do an exploratory and find them. They usually start off in embryological development behind the kidneys, and they develop, they slowly descend through the embryological cycle into the testicles, but some dogs, because they're genetically predisposed, do not drop. And the problem is, if they're left in the abdomen, sometimes they form cancer. If worse comes to worse, they become sterile. But we do not want this trait to be passed on to their babies, so we recommend the, 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 the males to be neutered and so they don't pass it on to their puppies. And again, they have to make a midline incision usually and look inside the abdomen. If you palpate it outside the abdomen in an inguinal canal, then we make an incision in, in, the, in the inguinal canal and we look for it, we pull it out, and we tie it off and remove them. But it's a pretty straightforward procedure. Most veterinarians have done hundreds of these. It's pretty common. It's not anything that will affect the dog's quality of life, but it's something you should probably have your veterinarian check have them look and see if they can palpate them. And it's sometimes you're not, in small dogs, you can't really palpate your testicles to like three to four months of age. But you should go to the veterinarian when you get your vaccinations and have them palpate to make sure that both have dropped.